Hello everyone, Motive Staffer Cody Rodner here, and today we have a very exciting video. I've been looking forward to getting this one posted for quite a while. Um, it is our video on the Alpha Jackal, which is Motive's brand new heavy oil asymmetric solid. So our big ball in the line. For the first time ever, I do have two different layouts to show off in this video. One is drilled to be early and very stable. The other is drilled to be long and strong. So we'll have two completely contrasting views um, to see this ball motion and see what this ball is actually capable of. So first I'm throwing the uh, Alpha Jackal that I've drilled to be very controllable. So I've drilled at 35 by four and a half by 30. Now for me, this is a, uh, a layout that's going to make the ball roll very early. It's going to be a little slower off of friction. So the idea is on a fresher condition or on a flatter condition, this is going to give me a lot of control. It's going to ensure that it picks up the mid lane, but it's not going to try and jerk sideways. So this is not a layout that will be ideal for a house shot type condition for me because it is so controllable and so early, it doesn't really give me the angle down lane um, to really take advantage of, of a walled condition like that. This is a piece that I've mainly reserved for sports shots, but to make it strike on this type of walled condition, I really just need to play the oil. I'm not trying to swing out or have steep angles, I'm just trying to keep it in the puddle so that it can retain enough energy to go through the pin. The second Alpha Jackal I drilled to be cleaner through the front and retain a lot more energy down lane. Now this is the type of shape that can better take advantage of a walled condition like this. So it's something that's still going to roll in the puddle just from the nature of how strong the cover is, how strong the core is, but we've drilled it in a way that it's going to create angles. So when you get it out to the friction, it's not going to just control the friction, it's going to drive off of it. And you can see that especially in the first few shots. Um, just to see, I decided to uh, throw the second Alpha Jackal on the same line as the first, just to see what it would do, and it went through the face. Second shot, I moved two and one left to see if that would be enough, still through the face. And then on the third shot, I moved a, a grand total of four and three to the left, and I'm finally in the pocket. In the end, I was blown away by this second Alpha Jackal and how much angle it did create while still being a heavy oil ASIM solid. You just don't tend to see angle down lane from this type of ball unless it is uh, paired with some sort of cleaner uh, solid cover like the Jackal Ghost. The Jackal Ghost has been a staple in our line for uh, quite some time now, mainly because it's a, a big high-end um, asymmetric solid that still continues down lane. Well, now with the Alpha Jackal, I feel like I have that same kind of confidence in its down lane motion, but now we have a piece with a lot more cover that can handle more volume, help you get left quicker, and is just an overall stronger option. With that in mind, I compared my Jackal Ghost to find just how much stronger is the Alpha Jackal. My Jackal Ghost is drilled very similar to that second Alpha Jackal, so we can be pretty confident in saying that any difference we're seeing is purely um, because of the cover that's on the Jackal Ghost. The cover that is on the Ghost, like I was saying, is cleaner through the fronts than the cover on our new Alpha Jackal. Um, so what we see is the Jackal Ghost pushes down the lane much easier, but we also see it respond to friction a little sharper, so you see a little bit stronger entry angle out of the Ghost. Being that the cover is cleaner on the Ghost, it did force me to move about 3 and 2 back right um, in order to get back flush into the pocket, which gives me valuable information going into tournament blocks that when the Alpha Jackal is picking up a little too early, but it's close, then I know the Jackal Ghost is probably my go-to next option because it is just that much cleaner, um, but similar in overall shape. Now we're moving over to lane 2, which has a freshly oiled, heavy oil modified house shot and has had no traffic on it so far. Now this is the type of condition that I'm more likely to throw um, the earlier, more controllable drilled Alpha Jackal. On this condition, the smoother Alpha has an easier time getting down the lane and thus retains more energy for the pin. So we do see the smoother Alpha continue a lot better on the fresh than on the burn. <laughs> Thank you. 
Even on the fresh, I did move three and two left with the longer and stronger drilled alpha. Um, and really just the nature of how strong this cover is really took over what kind of layout was on it. So it still picked up uh, plenty early enough to roll in the right spot and read the lane in the right spot. Um, but then the layout itself also allowed it to continue much harder down lane than the smoother, uh, more predictable alpha. So for me, I know these two different layouts on these two different alphas give me two distinct different shapes um, depending on my plan of attack for a pattern. So if I'm seeing a fresh condition, if I want to play more shallow angles, meaning a little straighter, I'm going to throw the four and a half inch pin alpha. It's going to read earlier. It's going to be more predictable. It's not going to try and go um, too sharp off of the end of, off the end of the pattern. Um, whereas if I need to open up my angles a little bit, create more shape, um, and especially if carry is a concern, then I'm going to go into this five and one fourth inch pin to pap uh, jackal because it, it retains so much more energy down lane, but still maintains a lot of control just from the early read of this strong cover. On the fresh, the story is the same when comparing the Jackal Ghost. It is cleaner through the fronts. It clearly goes a little bit longer uh, down the pattern before it transitions, but it is sharper reacting down lane. The Ghost will serve as an excellent complement to the other two alphas. Um, on any condition I'm, I'm bowling on that has a little bit more oil up front, um, in the times where maybe the, the lanes themselves are a little higher friction, but there's still heavy amounts of volume down on the lane, I may prefer to go to the Jackal Ghost just because it is um, cleaner in shape than the alphas. If the alphas are too early, the Ghost will be an excellent option for me. I also decided to compare um, my solid forge, the original forge, and I also have a four and a half inch pin uh, pin to pap on this forge, which for me creates a lot of control. It makes it read early and smooth off the end of the pattern. This is really only a ball I use when I have a lot of oil in front of me and I want to play to the right with straighter angles. This isn't a ball I can really shape down lane because it's designed to do one thing and one thing only, and that's roll forward. Now, I tr did try to stay in a similar zone as the Jackals just to see how it would compare there. And as you can see, it, it gets flush one shot and then the other two are, are definitely just too slow. They're too, too smooth down lane um, to really give consistent carry. So it tries to leave a 10 pin and then goes into the light mixer. It just shows how much stronger these, these Jackals are, especially the Alpha Jackals. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was informative and I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we're going to have the Trident Nemesis coming out February 19th, 2020. This might be the prettiest ball that Motive has ever produced and it's a shape that we've been missing in our line for a decent amount of time now. It is clean, it is mean, it is all down lane motion, but in a way that you can open up the pattern a lot more than a Supra because it picks up early enough in, in amounts of oil that the Supra is just not strong enough to handle. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss this great video that's coming up. As always, thank you very much to Rob Bailey and Rob Bailey's Pro Shop and Lanes for not only letting me drill out these alphas um, in his facilities, but also laying out fresh conditions and allowing us to use his lanes for this video. Until next time, Motive Nation.